Hello, hello everyone. I'm Zui. I'm here on my channel, Zui Academy. I want to take us through something small and before you go through what I have today, I just want to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Just like the link, share it out to your friends, to your colleagues, to anyone you value. Actually, it will be really helpful to me. I value it. And at the same time, you will be notified if in case I upload something new on my account. Now, with me, I have a solid here. It's a model. I've just made a model that has a combination of some blocks. Now, as you can see, we have a label. We have a combination of two blocks. This block here and this block here. This small block is uh, fixed on this bigger one. And this face and this face, as you can see, they're taking the frontal part, this part and this one. And this other face is taking the, what you refer to as the end part. So this face and this one here are taking the end side. And the top is taking the, of course, it's the, the, the part C is taking the top. Uh, let me just uh, put it clearly. So as you can look at it keenly, you realize that it is just a combination of blocks, like one that's smaller, another one that's bigger. It can be a form of a building structure or anything. Now, what I'm so much interested in today is to take us through what you refer to as orthographic projection. What do you understand if we talk about orthographic projection? Today, I'm not so much interested in drawing, but I'm just interested in letting us understand what it means by orthographic projection actually auto means perpendicular or yeah perpendicular if we are uh, bisecting orthogonally it means we are bisecting perpendicularly now or we are projecting in inside the object perpendicular now let's say this object as it is we want to do an orthographic projection an auto orthogonal projection so that we have another face a uh, derivation of faces on the front elevation the end elevation and the plan what do you see what do you see when you look at this object from this side which we are referring to as the front so let's say we are taking face a to be our front elevation what do you see now we expect to see this rectangular face and this rectangular face but now this one appears to be larger and this one appears to be smaller so this is what we shall project we shall project these two faces and let me just do a sketch so that we get to know what we shall have after projection now after projection it's like we are going to trace this on the other side like on one of the planes we are going to project this in that manner sorry about the blurring but i know you understand why So those faces are projected and as you can see on one of the sides that's how we projected this face and this face so if we have uh, the three uh, views let me say on the plan that is on x y we can call this y and we can call this x so on the upper side we can call it z so on this face we have projected this face and this face like this view and this we combine to give us this we can even label it as a and a as it is okay now for the plan it means we are going to draw this face and this face that is we can as well call this one c because it is same c 
Now, what do we see from top? We expect to see this rectangular face and this smaller rectangular face. Now, in this part, we are going to have, we can even trace it because we, that's what we were doing actually. We trace it. Sorry for that. So now on tracing, we have seen how the plan has been projected. We projected this top and this top on the ground for us to get what you call the plan. Now we are assuming this is the front A and then the C is the plan. Now how do we get the end elevation? End elevation is what you see now from side. Let's assume we are observing now from this side B. So the end elevation is going to be projected on this other face. And what do you see? You are going to trace this. So we trace it. As you can see, it's giving one face. But in as much as it is one face, we have this part part B, this of the smaller block that is uh, inbuilt. Is it really inbuilt? That is shadowed just on, on the face of this uh, beaker one. And how is it? You just take the measurement the way it is and you transfer it here. And as you can see, you can be guided by this line. So this one becomes B, B. So what we've just done, we have just projected the faces that can be seen on our planes. The ground plane, and then we have the vertical plane on this side, and this other vertical plane. So in short, what are we implying? We are implying that when we are projecting, we draw elevations. We draw elevations of, or we draw faces from both the front side, the side, and the top. And when we draw from top, we, we create what you call a plan. When we draw from the front, we draw what you create, the front elevation. We shadow it backwards. Then when we draw the end, we draw what you call the end elevation from the sideways. Shadowed either on the left or on the right. We can look at this object from this side, draw the end on the right, or we draw it from this side, we draw it on the left as it is. Now this one gives us what we are referring to as the, the elevations. Now, let's see how do we get the first angle projection and the third angle projection. For what you have done, we have just seen that the front elevation was drawn here. According to our question, we drew our front elevation here. On our illustration that we've just done, A, A. Then we drew our plan. And how did we draw, uh, draw our plan? We just projected downwards. This is how we drew our plan so that this side this side and this side and this side are just going to be brought here so that we have it that way. So of course one of the sides is not visible like this one here now it's going to be a construction so that now this is full, full full line, full line, full line, full line, full line, full line. And this one is full, full, full line, full line. We go it, we draw it, and there it is. Now, we just project this on this. It means it's a continent. They are projected downwards. Now, next, 
we want to draw our end elevation because this is the the the, the plan this is the front front is above the plan is below now the end elevation can either be on the left or on the right now for this case we view it from the right so we draw we drew it on the left this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side and we are saying this is the plan now if you look at it we drew this face and this face on the left hand side there it is now we just have to project on the left that way then if you stand here with your compass you can bring this distance and then also you can bring that distance project that and you can also project this so if you project you are going to have a whole face the whole of it but now we are interested in getting this now for us to get that it means we project this line upwards once it meets this it gives us that face now we can complete by having our whole drawing there it goes good now what we have are the elevations that we are interested in drawing and this one is in what we refer to as first angle projection first angle orthographic projection so that the plan is below a front elevation and the end elevation is either on the left or on the right depending on where you view it from if you view it from the left you draw it on the right and if you view it from the right you draw it on the left so in this case we view it this object from the right draw the end elevation on the left another plan is drawn down the way it is from top you draw it below the front and whereby now the front elevation was this face and this face so in a nutshell this face is this and this face is this and now this face is this and this face is this and in this side this face is this and this other one is this so we can name this was b b this is what this was a this was a and the top was c was c at least now we have an idea on how we can sketch the three views both the plan the end elevation the front elevation in first angle projection just after looking at this object the way as it is thank you very much for watching i know you've learned something and i appreciate that consider subscribing so that we can learn and uh, learn and learn more and more as we partner together now you too.